Fight fans, this is JD at BBTV News with a quick news update. Y'all know I got to give y'all the latest and greatest news in the sport of boxing. And with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, you know that there's been no shortage of controversy surrounding Vasily Lomachenko and Devin the Dream Haney. We all saw, you know, on this past weekend how Haney edged out a very narrow, narrow, close decision against Vasily Lomachenko. Now, Vasily Lomachenko, of course, was not the champion. You know, there was no obligation contractually for Devin the Dream Haney to give him a rematch. Uh, as a matter of fact, Devin the Dream Haney now has no, no more fights lined up with top rank. So now what Vasily Lomachenko and his team have done is they have now petitioned all of the boxing commissions for him to be the number one contender at lightweight. Now, the reason for that is, is because that would be the easiest path for them, for him to have a, a shot at the titles again. So whether Devin the Dream Haney, you know, decides to vacate the titles, then you would have a Vasily Lomachenko right in line with, you know, a number of title shots, depending on which one he chose. Or, you know, if Shakur Stevenson were to line up and have a shot at the titles, we may, at that point, end up having a Vasily Lomachenko versus Shakur Stevenson for a title. But that's all if Devin the Dream Haney decides to move up. At this point, for Devin the Dream Haney, there is no real reason for him to enter back into a rematch with Vasily Lomachenko, only reason why Devin the Dream Haney would do that if he listens to the, you know, the opinions of the, the boxing public as far as it being a very close fight. And he wants to go back and show that he can win against Vasily Lomachenko in a very decisive fashion. But outside of Devin the Dream Haney, you know, waking up and feeling like he wants to show the world that, you know, he can beat you know, Lomachenko in a decisive manner, it looks like, you know, he'll be on and upward to the next things in his career. So it looks like, you know, uh, a lot is going to you know, happen over the next, you know, month or so to see what's going to be next at the lightweight division as it concerns Devin the Dream Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Vasily Lomachenko, um, Javante Tank Davis. In my opinion, as a boxing fan and a boxing enthusiast, I absolutely, at this point, would love to see Devin the Dream Haney versus Javante Tank Davis. I feel like that behind the Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford fight would be the largest fight in boxing. If they could make Devin the Dream Haney versus Javante Davis, that would be massive. At this point, you know that Tank has solidified itself as a true pound-for-pound pound star in, the bo in boxing. And when you have Devin the Dream Haney coming in with all of the straps, you know, across his waist, man, that would make for an absolute massive bout. I know Shakur Stevenson is going to be trying to angle his way to get in there with, you know, Devin the Dream Haney. I know they've had their, their competitiveness back and forth, you know, with, you know, Shakur Stevenson talking about getting the best of him in sparring. You know, Devin the Dream Haney trying to argue that when they did spar, he was younger and that it would be different when they spar now as, you know, grown men. But, you know, that's one of those fights that I don't quite see happening just yet because lucratively, when you talk about money, I don't see Devin the Dream Haney going with Shakur Stevenson because while Shakur is up next as top pound for pound, his star and his draw power isn't really at its apex just yet. So if you're Devin the Dream Haney, you're not going to do Shakur any favor at this point when you wouldn't get the, the most money return by going into a bout with Shakur right now. So I, I would not see that happening. But nevertheless, man, hopefully we get a Devin the Dream Haney versus Tank Davis. What would be even better would be if we could get Haney versus Tank. And then on the, the top rank side, if they could make Loma versus Shakur. And then if we could possibly get the winners of both of those bouts and a massive bout against each other, that would do great things for the lightweight division. But nevertheless, man, that's what's going on at the lightweight division. So salute to all the fighters. It was definitely a close fight. Again, I had it with Haney up by just a round. Uh, again, I disagree with anybody who called it a robbery. A robbery is what we saw happen 
in the Roley Romero fight with Barroso. That 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 was a robbery. So I think a lot of people, when they get get out of the the moment of the fight and they go back and rewatch it, they probably admit that there were a lot of swing rounds and that it really was a very closely contested bout. Even if you have Lomachenko winning the bout, in no way, shape, or form do I believe you could watch that objectively and call it a robbery, as if you know either fighter dominated the other over the course of the fight. So. Let us know what you think in the comments about what should be next for each fighter, whether it be Loma, Shakur, uh, Tank, or Devin. And what fight would you like to now see as the next major bout in the lightweight division? What do you want to see? Let us know in the comments. As always, man, this is JD of Boxing Vibes TV. And until next time, I'm out.